Hi everyone, welcome back. I make tools and templates in Excel and PowerPoint to help people get ahead in their careers and get the most out of their work and their business. This one we're looking at is the customer journey map and we're creating it in Excel and it's an absolutely wonderful template. It gives us all of the information that we need about a customer and what, what they experience on their journey as they go through your product or your service. Let's get into the sheet. The first thing we're going to do is just start with our general framing and coloring of our sheet and just give us the general outlines so that we know what we're working with. And as we go along, we might speed this up and then we can get to the real meat of creating the sheet and all of the, all of the real information. We're just going to make these ones around 20 for their height. And this is what's going to give us our one to 10 customer experience. We'll just indent them ever so slightly as well. Our first column can be the width of around 15 and then we're just going to make uh, the next ones around about 28. Now we can start filling in the heading and the header area. We'll make this text white so that it does stand out and of course we want the cells to wrap so that, it, so that it doesn't get stuck out there all by itself. We might just indent that ever so slightly and now that's looking really really good. We'll merge and center this area too, and we'll put a nice border around this. Make sure it's uh, uh, over to the left, and we might just say this is a, a test. We want that to be in the middle, and we are just going to give ourselves a little indentation here. Maybe we'll make the, the text a nice dark charcoal, just something nice and soothing to the eye. Let's go ahead and copy this one across. Now we can say these are our expectations. We'll center this one and do the same as we have over here. Now for our heading, we can merge and center this, make the text a nice white, just so it does stand out. And we wanna say this is our customer journey map. Now we can look to our second heading row. And I think for this, let's give it a nice sandy color just to complement our ocean, ocean blue here. And with the, the text, we can actually make that the same ocean blue so that it really complements itself. We'll take these and we will drag them across and Excel will do all of the work for us. Now we'll fix up the formatting by making them in the middle. Maybe we will put them in the center as well increase the size ever so slightly. And of course we do want the text to be wrapped around so that they don't uh, get out of their box. Now we can start putting together some bold borders around so that we know where everything is going to fit. But for our middle, what we want to do, let's do a, a whole different bunch of different borders at once. And to do that, we go to our more borders section. Let's give ourselves a nice, so gray, but we also want horizontal lines and we want those to be dashed. So we're just going to choose dashed lines. Now it's starting to look a lot nicer. And what we're going to do now is just add a little bit of color to the side. And I think just to complement all of our other colors, let's make a nice turquoise color. And for this one, we still need some of those uh, middle lines. So we are going to add those in. This text, we do want to be white so that it still complements all of our other colors and looks really, really nice. Now we can go to our view and get rid of the grid lines. And I just realized we don't actually want these particular grid lines, so we're going to get rid of these. Now we want to quickly add the, the comment boxes that, we, that our customers can use to make the comments and we can show these in the customer journey map. It's a very simple way to do it and there's a nice rounded comment box right here. We'll format the shape and we will make the fill. We'll have no fill, I think, but we still want the, the outline to be, maybe we'll make that same deep ocean blue. We'll look at our text options and we want to look at the alignment of our text. So we actually want this to be 0 0.02 so that we're, we haven't got too many margins. Now for the tricky part, we want to add these smiley faces so that we can really see where the customer is experiencing their joy and their pain on the journey. To do that, we're going to insert some shapes and we'll start with a circle. Now we have our circle and our shape. We'll just shrink that down and we just want to format that in the same way because we don't want a fill color either. Now we can take the same idea, just copy and paste 
and shrink that all the way down and turn that into two eyes. To add the smiley face, we're going to insert another shape, but this one is going to be a curved line. We press escape to, to finish that up. And now we can actually edit the points by right clicking and going edit points. And we'll just fix these up a little bit to try and make it a nice, perfect smile. Now we actually want the, the cap type to be round. And there you have it. We have our first smiley emoji. What we'll do is we'll select all of these items just by holding shift and, uh, and selecting all of them together. We'll right click and group and group these all items together. And this emoji will be its own entity that we can move around our chart and our customer journey map. I'm gonna go ahead and create the other two types of emojis. And that way we'll have the rest of our customer journey map to work with. The last thing we are going to do is, uh, is add some of these into our customer journey map. And we want to connect these by a nice connector line and it will take a, a curved connector. And as you can see, it's a, it gives us the option to connect directly to our new shapes. But we just want to format these and in increase the size a little bit so that it does stand out. Make it a nice charcoal gray and we want this to be a dash, something like this. Now we can copy this connector anytime we want to use it and that will just simply link directly to our, uh, to our emojis. So there we have our customer journey map with our beautiful icons and our beautiful customer comments so we can really see where the customer is having a good time and a bad time. I've really enjoyed creating this with you and I hope you've had a good time as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.